when Tito Puente was asking an interview, he was used to refer that the same thing that they were playing with the Sonora Matancera is the same thing they were playing today. It's just now that they, people call it salsa. Mm. And just to complex, uh, like add more to that uh, debate, he was saying the, the only salsa or, or sauce that I know is uh, salsa, like tomatoes, tomato salsa or Goya salsa, just something you add, you put in food to make it more, more flavorful. Um, let's get into what Casino Rueda is. So you mentioned that um, Rueda essentially refers to it being in a circular style. Um, I kind of refer to it as it's like salsa in a circle meets square dance because you have somebody that's calling out the patterns and then you're rotating through. But but what's what's the uh, history behind it? What What is it for those of us that know very little about it? Okay, so let's go travel in time back to the 50s and let's go to Cuba. Um, Cuba has its, some of the traditional dances. It had like danzón, son cubano, and later, which later on became casino. But back in those days, before the, the revolution, they had these uh, social clubs, which were more like a judge clubs. So you had like these particular clubs for like a... Um, um, Parts of society will go like let's put it in these terms like there was a club only for white people there is another another club for white like black people and then there was a blend of both at some at some point they will just get to get together to have some drinks and you're enjoy the the ocean or dance or whatever so there was this particular uh club called casino it, the, the name at the time was casino deportivo de la habana so people will just go there, they will start dancing danzons, uh, son, cha-cha-cha. Uh, I think at that time they also had uh, mambo and, and a few other things. Even rock and roll was starting to take up uh, at that point. So they started to mix or blend steps, like, like sometimes it happens. Like you start, once you feel comfortable enough with a dance rhythm, you can start adding some elements from other dances and make your own, your own blend. So let's say to, there were two couples dancing son next to each other, and then one just say, hey, Damela, like give her to me, and they will switch partners. And then just to make it more fun, they will someone say, uh, uh, en, Chuflala y dile que no. So they will do the move and they will switch partners again. And then from that, it started adding more couples, three, four, five, and then they will have this, this, this person on, on the side or inside the circle making all these calls and people will start repeating them. So it was entertaining, it, it was uh, dynamic, and people start to refer to it, the, the dance from the casino, referring to the Casino Deportivo de La Habana. But since it's way too long, okay, they just shorten it to casino. And then in Central America, people tend to uh, shorten words. Uh, uh, instead of saying Rueda del Casino, probably someone got it uh, la, La Rueda de Cajeno. So they wouldn't pronounce the L and they just okay, start with Rueda de Casino. So people just, hey, let's, let's, uh, bam, uh, let, let's go to the, to the let, let, uh, let's go, that, let's go to the, uh, the dance of the casino. Referring to that particular dance and then it, it, it went viral like that. So in the, the little, uh, well, there is a lot of like theories as in anything, some people debate if it uh, if it if first was the egg or the chicken, and this eternal debate. The same happens with dances. So some people say that from danzón it evolved to son cubano, and from son cubano it evolved to casino, and then from casino it went to the rueda. With every with all the variations that come in the way. So casino is basically an evolution of of those dances, and then as it a time, as time went by, it, it took an identity of its own. Um, so if you go to Cuba, or, or I haven't been, but that's what I heard of others, is that people, they, they don't dance salsa, they dance casino, or son. Then, then, then it comes this other um, um, debate of what is salsa. So 
if you look at, if you look at interviews about history of salsa, of the origin of salsa, you can hear Tito Puente and Celia Cruz and all people like those big names from back in the day that are no longer with us anymore. They say that when the, the term salsa came out, it was just as, as a marketing as a marketing name. It was simpler to see the simp somehow it uh, one of the the versions that I had is that there was a this re um, record label. They will have this huge vinyl, and this company was uh, tomato so tomato paste um, company, and the name that they had was salsa. They had a vinyl, and there was a salsa uh, thing there. And then when people referred to it, okay, what kind of music is? This? And then uh, I mean, it, it's not it's not son, it's not casino, it's not dance son, it's not cha cha cha. What is it? Uh, and then. I'm assuming that they just to simplify things, they said, okay, it, it, it's salsa music mm -hmm. because of the little, the little square. When um, That's one of the theories. And when, when Tito Puente was asking an interview, he was used to refer that the same thing that they were playing with the Sonora Matancera is the same thing they were playing today. It's just now that they, people call it salsa. Mm -hmm. Just to complex, uh, like add more to that, uh, Debate. He was okay, the, the only salsa or, or sauce that I know is a salsa like tomato tomato salsa or goya salsa. Just something you add you put in food to make it more more flavorful. So it's uh, there is a lot of interconnecting paths and people develop their own like theories and that. it's just part of evolution. It's it's hard to to to, to put just one square. Okay, this is what it is. So. It's a, it's a, it's a, as of, as of today, it's easier to say it's, it's Cuban salsa than rather to go to all the story of, okay, this is the Casino Deportivo de La Habana, this is the casino, then we came into the Rueda de Casino, okay, it, it's salsa. It's, oh. it's, it's simpler that way. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that that's also just a matter of time. Um, you know, when you, when you look again into the ballroom, frame of mind uh we have the viennese waltz that dates back hundreds of years at this point so the history has been written and rewritten and and dialed down over you know that that length of time so when you're dealing with something that's coming out of the 1930s 40s 50s we're still in a relatively new time so it it will be a while before that history is kind of refined and distilled and truncated, so to speak. Um, you mentioned a couple of dance styles that um, since we have a majority of ballroom listeners uh, for this podcast, I just want to clarify a little bit because they were new to me or relatively new to me. Um, dance on and on. No, son. Like son. S-O-N. Yeah. Son. All right. What are they? Um. Well, it's it's their partner dances. I mean, it's it's like going back on time, and um, I could be wrong. It is if I try to associate it with something else. It's like going from um, like from one dance that you have, and then go to its ancestor, and then to its its, its predecessor. It's something like that. I'm trying to think something in ballroom. Um, let's see. Let's say like you have West Coast, and then before that you have Lindy Hop, and then before that you have let's say uh, uh, <laughs> uh, well the one the one before that 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 came before that something like that. So it's just a uh, an, an evolution of of that of that kind of thing. It has okay. similar similar steps, similar foundation, but it's uh it's it's it has its, its own identity by now. So, so I was going to say, so is that if you went into a social dance or a club, would that be something that you would see folks dancing or would it just look like salsa, cumbia, bachata, merengue at this point? Um, I would, I, I would say that like, it, like in a, the, the way things are right now with globalization and everything else, if you go to a club, you will find like a music from like, Current Cuban music, which is referred as, uh, is referred as timba, which, or like timba slash Cuban salsa, which is different to the traditional salsa that you will hear with the the, the orchestra, the um, 
and with, with a let's say on a a New, a New York salsa with a like let's say funny old stars. It's a very um, orchestrated kind of music with a. It's it's different, and then the the timbre, the Cuban salsa has more of this alfaro and like urban sounds. So, if you go to a club, you would you would you would you would see people dancing like people dance nowadays. If you get outside of a club and you go to certain parts of the, the island, you will see people doing demonstrations of that in the, on the streets or like in a, any like neighborhood party. Um, it's. How do you differ, differentiate that? Is because uh, you can tell by the style that the uh, well, let's say the if you use the terms, it's the styling. It, it looks more old school. Okay. Yeah. So it's it looks more. It's the the, the steps are, are are simpler. It look the styling is more old school, and there is less complexity. So people could be doing just a couple of steps and, and be fine. <laughs> 